Maybe I'm being overly dramatic in saying this, but this little boy quite literally saved my life. There are some days that I'm just so grateful to watch him smile. After losing our second baby in the third trimester, we decided that we were gonna adopt and we were gonna go the special needs adoption route because one of our babies had Down syndrome. As two young parents, we had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. We just knew that we had so much love in our hearts and there was something missing, something major missing from our family. In 2017, we randomly decided, let's go with the special needs adoption route. A few days later, I got a blog post sent to me in my inbox. I randomly decided to get up at 5 a.m. that day to check my email and get ready for the day. The blog post said, looking for a special needs family for baby Z. His file was lengthy and we had no idea what we were reading. We just knew that this felt right and he felt like the missing piece. We didn't get a photo of baby Z and he had been in the hospital for one month without a family. In fact, two other families had come in to adopt Warren and they changed their minds. They couldn't see themselves as special needs parents and after spending a couple of days with him, they left. Warren spent 30 days in the NICU by himself. I was sent a photo of his ear and his diagnosis and I didn't care. Our file was picked. We were literally the first application in. We got a phone call saying, baby Z is yours, when can you get here? We got that call on Friday and we were in North Carolina by Monday. We didn't care what baby Z looked like. We didn't care what the diagnosis said. He could have been blind, he could have been deaf, he could have been a vegetable. Those were all of the possibilities. And, and today we're just so proud to say that baby Z, now Warren, is absolutely perfect and the light of our lives. And soon he'll be six. Happy birthday, Warren Michael.